Good morning, Karen. Morning. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, everyone out there. Good morning. I'm so excited to be here today. I'm excited that you're here, Karen. Yes, and I'm so excited about reading this chapter and because <laughs> it's one that I've got questions about. Yeah. So, yeah. Us too. Great. Great. Let's start. Let every soul... Oh, we're up to chapter 13 of Romans. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained, ordained by God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good, that if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscious sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, Fear to whom fear, honour to whom honour. Verse 8. Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. <laughs> for this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbour. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armour of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Mm. Tricky chapter. Yeah. Great finish. Yes. So. So what's your question, Karen? Mm. There's many. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, eight. I think verse 8, um, mm -hmm. owe no man anything. Does that mean have no debt? Like, Owe no man anything. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, what we should do is not allow ourselves to get into a situation like that. Mm. Um, which is, it's a tricky one in the world that we live in today. Right. And could... Like jumping to verse 14, mm -hmm. talking about fulfill the lust thereof, mm -hmm. like could it be like our desires that cause us to owe? Often. You know, mm. owe money, just that. Often people are living way above their means mm. and borrowing money to go on a holiday, borrowing money to buy a boat, a new car, a bigger house. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know what? That is what happened in this recent time when people were threatened with loss of income, yeah, losing true. their jobs because they didn't mm. have a vaccination. Mm. Um, that is what was at the cause of it because a lot of people that I knew were saying, oh, I didn't want to have that jab, mm. but I had to because I've got my mortgage, because mm -hmm. I've got debt. Um, so that is kind of that is saying if we weren't owing any man anything wow we wouldn't be putting ourselves in that situation where we have to obey the lust of the flesh wow right um, and when we love our neighbors when we're looking after each other and hopefully in unity of the faith well if someone needs something then you give it to them so you don't have to go out and you know owe someone something because mm -hmm. people are providing for each other and it's not you know, we're talking here about not coveting things. And um, so to covet something often, I think, 
you know, marketing is very good at helping you be deceived to think that you need something. Yeah. 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 So if you don't have coveting as a problem to start with, and you're not holding on to the things of this world in a flesh and fleshly manner, mm-hmm. maybe you don't then owe anything to to people. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, but there, there is a tricky spot in here, and I know a lot of people uh, brought this up, especially Christians, um, in regards to obeying rulers of, of our time. And there's been yeah. rulers, like since the beginning of time, you know, that God's ordained or given permission to rule. It doesn't mean that God agrees with what these rulers are actually doing right. with their laws and their requirements for the community to govern something to, to govern something well is to look after it well so in verse 3 mm-hmm. it says for rulers are not a terror to good works but to the evil and that verse is a little tricky to understand mm-hmm. but it's saying that rulers are not a terror to good works so if you're doing good works you shouldn't be terrified about your rulers yeah but if you're doing evil things then you should be terrified about the leadership because that leadership should give you some kind of damnation some kind now that's not damnation to hell yeah. only god you know that's a, yeah. that's a whole different topic but knowing that if you do good then leadership should be for you mm-hmm. but if if there is leadership um or government that is not for the good works but they're actually condoning evil yeah yeah then that is a no-go. And that's like a Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego moment where they were told by leadership, you bow down to this golden statue. And if you don't, we'll throw you into a fire. So there's a consequence. Fill in the gap to recent times. If you don't do this, then this is your consequence. Was it good? It wasn't good. No. It was evil. It was against uh, the health and well-being of free will yeah. and, and choice so yeah and the rulers yeah the rulers are not a terror to good works but mm-hmm. to the evil yes. so if we're not doing evil yes. we have no need to fear mm-hmm. um, punishment mm-hmm. that's right and who is the ultimate authority who are we going to stand before yeah. and give an account for our lives right. and, it's, and it's going to be um, a moment of judgment who's that yeah, it's God. <laughs> it's God. That's yeah. right. So um, he's watching us mm-hmm. and he's he's excited to see how we walk out each day as we follow his word. Right. And he's asking us to do these things, not mm-hmm. to worry about things that we, I mean, we do worry about things that we shouldn't do, but ultimately let us walk honestly mm-hmm. as in the day, not in writing, yep. not in drunkenness, chambering, wantonness, strife and envying. Yeah. Um. And love thy neighbor as thyself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's hard time to wake up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And love isn't always fluffy and easy. You know, sometimes yeah. it is really difficult. Yes, yeah, it, really it is. It's really hard to choose the path of, of love and, yeah. um, you know, walking in the light. Yeah. Yeah. And walking honestly. Honestly. Mm-hmm. And, oh, we, we wanted to maybe talk about false witness you know, there's the that's the flip, bearing false witness, being honest. Right. Yes. You know. Yeah. Having an honesty, like I'd like to think that I'm honest with you girls. Yeah. And um, of course you're honest to me. That's like, right. This is this is how unity comes about, where mm-hmm. we're not fake. No. No. Yeah. This is a thought-provoking chapter, so. I hope everyone can go away and read it and really yeah. think about it, pray about it, ask God for more insight than we can provide. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. Um, that's what we'll be doing. Yeah. And verse 14, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. What a garment. Yes. Not making provision for the flesh. Yeah. So good. Thanks for joining us, Karen. Oh, I hope I'm here again. <laughs> Maybe I'll be here tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Have an awesome day, everyone. Bye. 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 What's your What's your views on obeying government when they're not you know, evil? They're well, evil. you shouldn't obey them because you, the Bible is your authority. But what do you say to the fact that God put these people in power? Well, they're abusing the authority that they've been given to 
impute laws that <laughs> are contrary to God's word and people's well-being. Great. Taking Talking. advantage. <laughs> Great. Now, Tarkin answered that better than we did. Yes. <laughs> we should have I had you here right. from the beginning. <laughs> Take a bow. <laughs> Someone that's in leadership over you yeah. and they ask you to do something that's evil, what would you do? Ooh. Well, I'd probably come home and talk to my mum about it mm -hmm. and get her advice on it. But if I really didn't agree, I'd probably go to the Bible and just see what that has to say about it. And if it disagrees with the Bible, then I don't want to do it and I shouldn't do it. Okay, so Darren, today we've been reading through Romans 13. Yeah. And we had some questions around what it is that we are supposed to do to obey the government. Yeah. Um, given that all power is given by God. Do you have any insight? All power is given by God, but this current age is, you know, Satan is roaming around. Right. And he has the authority by God because we're in the age of grace. Uh, but if the governments are making silly laws and aren't adhering to what we believe, we are to go against that. Right. Some say in a loud way, some okay. say in a quiet, mind your own business way and serve, serve the Lord in that way, like wait for his appearing. But, you know, do we want a target on our back if they start doing, you know, riots in the street and smashing government buildings? I don't think so. <laughs> so we live a quiet life, mind our own business and long for his appearing. It's too easy. Yeah, Good boy. Good boy. He's not scary. He's about to jump, by the way. He's not scary. Oh, yeah, okay, maybe okay, take him. Okay. Yeah. Come here. Uh, I don't know why everyone ran away. <laughs> Where's he gone? Where is it? I know, it's so hard to see. Why is oh, it the being weird today? This would be a good black like, oh, yeah. creeper. 